Hello, welcome back to Summit Tutoring. I'm David Austin. Today, we will be discussing how to solve linear equation word problems. In this first example, let's start by writing an expression for the time that is taken up by the performance of the talent show. We can use P to represent the number of performances at the talent show, and each performer has six minutes for their performance, and that includes transition times between performances. So then that tells us that the time needed for all performances is 6p. Since we know that the introduction to the show is 24 minutes, the total time needed for the introduction and the performance is 6p plus 24. Now, since we know that the talent show is 150 minutes long, we can write the equation 6p plus 24 equals 150 to model the number of performances that the talent show can accommodate. Now, let's solve this equation. First, I'm going to subtract 24 on both sides, and that gives me 6p plus 126. Then I isolate my 6, and that gives me p is equal to 21. The question is asking how many different performances can the talent show accommodate. So it can accommodate 21 performances. So in the second example, it wants us to find the differences in property taxes. So let's allow D to be the distance between the house and the school. Since D is a distance, it's always positive. It tells us that property taxes decreased by 0.5% points for every 10 miles from the school. So, we can write that as 0 0.5 times d divided by 10. This is the increase in taxes for a house d miles from the school. If the greatest property tax rate is 4.5%, then 4.5 minus 0 0.5 d divided by 10 is the property tax of a house d miles from the school. So now we can use this equation to figure it out. So we will have 4.5 minus 0 0.5 divided by 10 d is equal to 3. And then from there we can do our division And then we can isolate our variable. And then from there, we get our answer, which is D is equal to 30. So this tells us that the house is 30 miles away from the school. And that answers our question of what is the distance of the house from the school. It is 30 miles. So in this third example, it wants us to find how many full rows of unbroken tile can she install before running out of tiles. So let's start by writing an expression that talks about what's going on in this word problem. So she starts with 152 tiles, but 19 of those break. So that leaves her with 133 available tiles. Now, to model the number of full rows that she can make before running out of tiles, it tells us that each row must have 9.5 tiles. So we will write 9.5r is equal to 133. And then from there, we can isolate for our r, and that gives us r is equal to 14. So that tells us right here that she will be able to make 14 rows. And that is our answer to this problem. In this fourth example here, each crop reduces the pollutant by 15 milligrams per square meter. The amount of the pollutant removed by C crops would be that 15 C milligrams per square meter. This amount should be subtracted from the existing amount that we already have. So we are left with five milligrams of the pollutant per square meter. So when we write an equation to represent that, it would be 170 minus 15c is equal to 5. 
So from here, we are easily able to determine our correct answer, which is C. In our fifth example here, the number of seconds over or under 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes, can be obtained by taking the absolute value of the difference between the actual time and the target time. So that can be represented as the absolute value of x minus 300. So the total point reduction is equal to three times the number of the total seconds, either over or under the target time. So we add a three on the outside of our absolute value. And that gives us the answer of A. A is the expression that represents the number of points a contestant loses if she speaks for x seconds. I hope today's review of linear equation word problems was helpful for preparing for the SAT. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications for upcoming videos. We will see you in the next video.